Uh, her question was related to a recent news story that came out yesterday that uh, L'Oreal has signed an agreement to acquire a specialty luxury brand known as Urban Decay uh, and ask if that would be integrated in any way into the production site that we have in North Little Rock. Uh, because Urban Decay is a luxury brand and also due to the fact that um, I believe that most of Urban Decay's manufacturing, what you don't realize is a lot of the brands that you buy, um, you're paying, for, it's just their label. Uh, a lot of beauty brands do not own or operate any of their own independent manufacturing facilities. There are numerous, and there, it's nothing to do with any deg degradation of quality or anything like that. It's a lot of times just about the economies of scale that the subcontractors can provide to some of these brands. So, so there are many subcontracting facilities that op are operationally very similar to what we have here in North Little Rock that's owned by the same brand as the product, and it's just full of different lines of production and facilities of people just manufacturing all different brands at a, at a subcontracted way. So um, Urban Decay, I believe, is mostly subcontracted. So uh, it always remains to be seen when L'Oreal acquires a company whether it can be integrated in, into any of our existing manufacturing facilities or whether it will have to remain a subcontracted product due to some specific concerns about how the, the compatibility of, to our production facilities.